Hello everyone, welcome to the next video. Uh, this is video five. So, um, today we're going to concentrate on the low stuff. So that's why I've got my uh, baritone sax. Uh, so low stuff might be baritone sax, tuba, double bass, uh, cello, bassoon, bass clarinet, uh, euphonium, bass trombone, trombone, all low stuff. Um, if you don't play a low instrument, it's also fine. Um, you can join in anyway. So here we go. This is the bass line, the funky bass line, which fits with the tune that we've already learned. So the first note we're going to play is this one. So let's all sing that note together. La fab. Okay, now it's in here. We can sing it back in our heads and we can work out which note it is. So as before, I'll tell you the first note anyway. Um, the, con the first note is a concert D. Um, I guess most of you low players will be a concert player, uh, but if you play baritone sax like me, it's a low B. If you play a B flat instrument, like a tenor sax or a bass sax, ooh, um, it's going to be an E. So there are your first notes. Okay, the bass line we're going to learn slowly. So we're going to do it pitch by pitch. So the first note, second note. So we need to find the second note. Now we can do that from the first note. We know the first note. And there's the second note. So we can go up one, two, three, four, five steps from the first note to get the second one. So there it is. That's the first two notes. Let's try singing those first. La bam, and then try playing them on your instrument. There we go. Um, rewind the video if you need to, and have a few goes. So there are our first two notes. Now the next note is that one there. So we, again, we could work out from the second note. La da da, one two three. So we've got three notes from the second note, which is a minor third. You might find you can just do this straight away, just from listen listening to me play the saxophone. Um, if not, don't worry. It takes people a different amount of time to find uh, find their notes. I find it quite hard to listen to lower notes than I do to find uh, higher notes, just because that's what I'm used to playing the most. Okay, so the fourth note, dead easy, is the same as the second note. There we have it. So we've got the first four notes. We could try playing those in time. Uh, don't forget, put your metronome on 130. <clears throat> um, okay, let's go for the fifth note now. So here's a fourth note. Here's a fifth note. So that's right, it just goes up by, you've got it, just one note. So try singing first. La -da and then find those two notes on your instrument. There we go. Whole thing. Okay, the next note is. La. Let's try and find that one. La. So that one goes um, up from the previous note. La -da. One, two, three. So again, that's another third up. Fantastic. So up to now, we've got. Okay, I'll try that once more. There we have it. Okay, three notes left. La. La. So don't forget, it would be a good idea to jot these down on your notepad, like we did in the uh, previous video. Um, so you've got a record of all the notes. There are not too many notes. There are only six notes in the first bit. So here they all are. 
So you could sing that back, slow it really down in your head as as much as you can. Da, 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 de, da. Really slow. And you can work out what the notes are on your instrument. There we have it. Three notes left. That's the note we just talked about. So that one is concert G, that's E for me. A if you play a B flat instrument. Um, up a note. And then down two notes. Let's sing that. Do da dum. Do da dum. Okay, now by this point, don't be confused. <coughs> um, it makes a lot more sense when you hear the rhythm. So, here is a rhythm. I'm just going to find my metronome from over here. Oops, first of all. And just pop it on. So, our metronome is on what speed? 130, you've got it. Do you know what? Our metronome's already at 130. It's programmed. Here we go. Here's how it goes. <laughs> So, look at your sheet with uh, the pictures on uh, that you wrote down before, and you can read them in a, go in a row. But as I said before, the rhythm is much easier to remember than the pictures themselves. So once you get the pictures sorted out, the rhythm will just take care of itself. Okay, that's it for now. <laughs>
hey, there we have it. That's the whole thing. So maybe if you could record that um, four or five times uh, on your video, that would be smashing. Um, if you don't do it really well those numbers of times in a row, then feel free to just edit your video or just do it a couple of times. That's also fine. But maybe uh, four or five would be ideal. Great. I look forward to hearing your videos and see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.